I love The Legend of Zelda. I don't know if you can tell, like, you know, Zelda shirt, Zelda hat, I'm wearing Zelda earrings right now, but like, big fan! One of my favorite franchises of all time. Have you got Zelda underwear on? That's for us to know. <laughs> and these guys to never know. <laughs> Maybe one day, who knows? <laughs> no, I think they're Pikachus. Anyways, <laughs> what is your favorite Nintendo franchise of all time, Laura? My favorite Nintendo franchise is Zelda. My favorite game of all time out of every game in the entire world is Breath of the Wild. So I'm pretty excited for this one to come out, honestly. Yeah, I think it's fair enough to say that Tears of the Kingdom might be both of our most anticipated game of all time. Yeah. It's not a stretch, is it? <laughs> no, it's not that no, much of a stretch. It really isn't. So this video is kind of an excuse to just ramble on about potentially our favorite game ever. And also a little informative session of what do we know about Tears of the Kingdom? Because there's actually a surprising amount that we know, isn't there? There is. There's only like three trailers that have come out and they're each a minute long, but there is heaps of stuff. Every scene has something interesting mm. in it. And Laura's done a deep dive into these trailers and I haven't. So a lot of what you're learning today, I'm going to learn with you. So with that said, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. It really helps us out a lot. But let's just do it. Let's get into it. Yeah. Inform us, mm. Laura. Well, put your seatbelt on. Oh. We're going on the information bus. <laughs> It's not that much of a bumpy ride. Oh, it's okay. It's pretty smooth sailing. Still need your oh, seatbelt on so just like, for safety first. Like, is it going to be like, are we going to be able to play corners? <laughs> it's not like the magic school bus where you're going to shrink down and like go inside somebody's ear hole or something. Yeah, they went into some questionable places. <laughs> like that one where they fertilize fish. With the, kid, uh, the kids and the fish in the river. Cover your kids' eyes in three, two, one. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We were just wondering. Any particular reason why you're here? There's your answer, Carlos. What? Is he some sort of... All right. Anyways, Zelda. Yeah, so this is the first trailer. Okay. So this is the trailer I know most about. We're below Hyrule Castle here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Presumably, yeah. Yep. And presumably... That dead body right there is Ganondorf. Well, dead, suspended in time. I don't know if he's really dead because you know how part of the legend says that there is one male yep. Gerudo yep. born every like hundred years or yep. whatever. A thousand years or something like that, yes. But there hasn't been another one reborn. Oh, in the time when Link was in stasis in Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. or before Breath of the Wild, I guess. Yeah. There hasn't been a male. And there's not oh, been another one born, so okay. like maybe he's not dead. So he's not dead, yeah. He's, he's trapped. Dead. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Cool. By this mysterious green hand. There'll yes. be a better shot, it's quite far away at the moment, so there'll be a better shot later. Lots of Gerudo, like jewelry and imagery has got yeah, on Yeah, the Ganondorf and Twilight Princess had a gem on his forehead like this one. Okay, there you go. So it could be a direct sequel to a lot of games we've got in the franchise because as we'll find out later there's some skyward sword stuff going on so if I you think, think that there's some be... twilight princess stuff too i think that some parts will be inspired by past games but i don't know if it'll be like a direct sequel to any of the past games this arm um, also reminds me of midna it's not the right colors but it looks like midna's arm she's got a black arm that has shiny blue drawings on yeah cool but they look like that the first look at link's new powers link's fancy um, presumably this green stuff is linked to the Sheikah in some way because that's the kind of colour that the monks go when they dissolve or whatever they do. Yeah, yeah, and the thing. So I just realised that this is actually our first shot of Link's not so healthy looking up. I reckon he's touched it. He's and touched something dodgy. He's touched it. Touched what? He hasn't kept his hands to himself. I don't know what he touched. Maybe he touched the hand. The malice? Or the hand No, nah, the hand because it's green, Ganon. not the malice. Okay. This could be like a dungeon, some people are reckoning. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it it's looks like cool an entrance shot, to a dungeon, but it also yep. looks like an entrance to literally any other building that's yep. on a hill. Big castle. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the entrance to Petra. Yeah, that's true. 
Zelda falls down into the pit and, and then the, the hand, hand saved, saved her. her. Mm, okay, which isn't Link at this point. No, no like, because that hand's hand. way too big as and well. And it's massive. Yeah, it's you know what they say hand. about big hands. <laughs> Link doesn't have big hands. Right? No. no, poor Link. He's probably still a virgin. <laughs> I reckon that this is the shadow of the arm letting go. Oh, the arm letting go. Yeah, okay. it's like coming out. It looks out. like it's reaching out, but yeah, it could just be like reaching back. That makes sense. It looks like the arm down here isn't in that position though, doesn't it? Yeah, nope. It's definitely not. The arm on the person down the bottom there is a different arm to the one that's pulling away. I think it's the same arm, but maybe it's like a memory. And that is our first hint at all the Skyward Scored stuff that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The castle floating up. So that's all we got from the first one. Also, something interesting to note is that the music is playing backwards. In that whole trailer. Mm -hmm. In the trailer, the music's playing backwards. Oh my God, I love musical Easter eggs. I think that's a massive Easter egg, but I think I might save it till the end. Okay. Because there's little things in each of these trailers that all come together and then... Okay, so stick around to hear. Okay, I'm excited, yeah. let's go. All right, so this is the second trailer. Oh, right, yeah, okay. This is when his arm is getting... All destroyed malice up so that's the malice that's yeah that's the his malice arm now this time, yeah not the sheikah magic yeah my theory on this is that the malice has gotten a hold of him latched onto him made his arm all funky and then the sheikah magic has then come along and saved his arm mm. or saved the malice from spreading throughout the rest of his body you know? yeah and then also empowered his arm to give him cool arm powers which we will see in a second and now link has fallen down skyward sword style also i must just say very cool outfit that link's wearing right now i like it a lot fully embracing the tunic i'm a big fan awesome i like the colors oh he does have shorts on underneath yeah. Cool. yeah so there's like a whole nother world up here in the sky it makes sense why nintendo really least skyward sword yeah well that's the thing maybe maybe that is linked yeah and they did release skyward sword for a reason on the switch just so everybody is up to date not sure who this guy is he just looks, a cool new enemy he looks friendly though you think yeah he does look he's got a smiling eye oh, okay. <laughs> okay these guys have made their home on top of Tarlises and stuff oh god like they didn't need to be any more threatening i love the Tarlises, so i think that's it's pretty very fun cool. taking it's just down. a natural progression isn't it yeah of enemies i mean you've already got all these amazing assets like the Tarlises. just build a couple of things on top of it make them look new and interesting mm -hmm. done and then you've got a giant rock monster as part of your arsenal yeah this is link's arm it looks pretty much exactly like the one that was holding Ganondorf down, down to the nails. Check mm -hmm. out his nails now. Mm, so this is the first look at one of his new powers. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey powers. Mm -hmm. Love it. And the arm is the new Sheikah Slate now. Yes, yes, definitely. That becomes clear because he doesn't have a Sheikah Slate on his belt or anywhere on his person in any of these trailers, no. but he uses his arm to do the Sheikah Slate powers. Do move. Yeah. yeah, exactly. This one takes an object and throws it back in time. Mm. So this is what I mean. There's links to so many different Zelda games. Like what's the most popular Zelda game before Breath of the Wild? Ocarina. He of did go back in time. Yeah. Time. Mm. Yeah, dude. That whole thing is wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yeah. So Oh, I just love all the little Easter eggs just in the trailers to all these past games. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe because I'm sure when this game comes out, we will do Easter eggs to all the past games. Yeah. Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's do Honestly, it. there's going to be like three months of just Tears of the Kingdom content because that's the only thing we're going to be doing in our real lives. Yeah. Yeah, flamethrowers. So specific weapons are going to be able to wield magic? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. Because it's a dragon head shield for sure. Yeah. Did you guys see that? Yeah, the tear. Hmm, maybe. The tear. They were Maybe. hinting at the name all the way back in 2021. Well, that's why they released the name so late, because all of the names of all of the Zelda games have something to do with a important 
aspect of the game. Mm. So this is how he travels up there. I reckon that he finds something on the ground that has come from the Sky Islands and then used his Sheikah arm to make it go back in time. Oh, up to the Sky Islands. Yeah, back up to the Sky Islands. That makes like sense. Like he did with the ball. Yes, absolutely. Although this kind of looks like a different color, so maybe he can do something in water because this is green and that was yellow, so it might be indicative of a different sort of power. But He's definitely that's how using he gets his up there. arm to get up there though. Platform nine and three quarters like. Oh yeah, this is the castle raising again. So, is this how all those Sky Islands come to be? The castle raises all other parts of that's Hyrule a possibility start to raise. there's nothing in the sky now except for the castle exactly and presumably it's the same hyrule we were in in breath of the wild so do you have is there a theory on that out there or well i think that some of the islands were there all along because well you can tell from the third trailer yeah that they have tory gates temple gates and they yep. were never on the ground of breath of the wild we explored the whole okay, place okay they were just above the clouds and we I didn't guess. have access to them. Maybe we just couldn't see them. Okay. We it are would making... make sense if they all raised up at the same time. They seem quite ancient though. They do, definitely. Yeah. So what are you going with, definitively? Are they, are they raising up with the castle or not? I reckon they were always there. Okay. Okay. They're always there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's just my theory. What do you reckon? What are you going with? I don't know. I'm asking you. What are you guys going with? You all wrote, wrote articles for websites about this. So if you don't know, then well, you I just mean, those articles? we've only got three <laughs> minute-long trailers each, so nobody no. really knows. Knows, yeah, nobody knows. Except True. for the people that made the game, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm looking forward to finding out. So this yeah. is the final trailer, too. The newest one. The newest one with the name reveal. This is the person that was holding Ganon down, I reckon. Ganondorf. Oh, okay. Because look at the look at these biggins. Yeah, huh? they are. Big hands. Mm. Ornate jewelry. True. Okay. So this is gonna be some kind of god figure. Yeah, right. Look at that. Maybe a goddess or god of some kind. So this is gonna be Hillier. I think it's gonna have something to do with the Zonai. Oh, the Zonai tribe. Yeah, how random is it that there was all of those ruins, everything like that, but there was just nothing ever explained about it. Yeah. Nothing's in a game for no reason. True, yeah, they didn't go to the effort to put all of this lore for in Breath of the Wild for nothing. This mystical being is also surrounded by all of these medallions. What that reminds me of is the seven sage medallions in Ocarina of Time. True. How you had to collect all of the medallions and each represented a dungeon that you had to complete. If there's a return to dungeons, I know a lot of people are going to be overjoyed. Each of these medallions might be something that you have to collect from a dungeon if we can judge by that strange opening yep. in the rock. Pe okay. A lot of people think it's the entrance to a temple. Yeah. There's not really a lot of evidence to back up that theory, mm -hmm. but it's a nice thought. It is. Zelda? Yeah, I reckon that's Zelda. I think that's Zelda too. And I think that oh, that is... Zelda. That's the same hand. Oh, that's the... Yeah, because it is a huge hand again. Yeah, look huge at that. Huge hand, big size difference, and the jewellery here. So Zelda is making a deal with this goddess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so maybe it is Hylia. Yeah, okay. Possibly. Aren't those the powers that Zelda embodies? Yeah, yeah, the goddess Hylia. Maybe this is where she got them. I've always pronounced it Hylia, so. True, yeah, what is it? I don't know. Voice acting, man. Wasn't a thing. For yeah. A while. <laughs> so this is the first shot of Link opening the door. And these dragons here are the ones that are behind the game's logo. Okay. So they must be really important dragons. I don't know if these are going to be two of the dragons that were in Breath of the Wild because there was three of those. So why would you only have two? What makes these two so special? Yeah. Why do you have to leave the third one out? Oh, so I like to think that they're different dragons so that no one's being left out. Yeah, uh, nice. 
Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Yeah, so here is where you're going to see a lot of the islands. See, look at that. There was no shrines like that. Yeah, that's true. It does look quite ancient. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, that was never in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. So the Sky Islands were always there. We're going with that definitively. I reckon, yeah. yeah. I think they're going to have some Skyward Sword lore because that's the first game in the Zelda timeline. Mm -hmm. And this is well, potentially the last game. Going to be the most recent game in the Zelda timeline. But the Sky Islands are going to be two pretty different places in each one, I would say. The Sky Islands in Tears of the Kingdom and Skyward Sword? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a really important shot because it's a piece of rubble that's fallen off the island and he's putting it back in time to travel up, like I was saying before. Uh, I was gonna say, this is what you were saying when he went through the platform nine and three quarters. Yeah, that's what solidified this theory in my mind that okay. he's going back in time to get up to the island. It almost looks like two different things though. Like yeah, because platform it's a nine and three color. quarters was, yeah, all like blue and like watery as you yeah. were saying. But this is, he's definitely, this is yellow. he's definitely going back in time. So he can travel through time and he can travel through water. Like it At looks least like walls. Yeah, definitely walls. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite shot in any of the trailers. Yeah. Just because again, Link is in his really awesome outfit that I previously stated I'm a big fan new of. New outfit, it, new weapon. It, show, it mm -hmm, shows us a cool new weapon. It also hints to the fact that we'll be able to climb anything, fingers crossed, just like we were in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Honestly, I'd be surprised if they got rid of that. I'm sure they will still yeah, be able to Yeah, it was climb. one of the best things about yeah. the whole game. You could just climb anything, anywhere. Yeah, we'll Unless still be able raining. to climb anything. Yeah. His hair is a lot longer, so some people have kind of read into that fact that maybe it's Zelda or something, but oh, I- this is Zelda. I don't think so though because Zelda has short hair though. Yeah, Zelda cut her hair short and a lot of the outfits that Link wore changed his hairstyle. True. I think that uh, that that's just it's just a cosmetic thing. Yeah. Or time has passed. Or time has passed. Yes, yeah. might signify a time jump. That's true. Yeah. Mm. Short hair again. Yeah. And a cool airplane. Well, it's airplane. still pretty long. Yeah, sick airplane. So my main theory about the game and the game's name is that it's not tears as in crying water tears. I think that it's tears in time. So Laura's got a Kiwi accent. So tear as in tearing a piece of paper and tears as in crying sound like exactly the same word. They are spelled the same. Laura, what's that big animal that can eat you that's present in North America? A beer. And the delicious beverage? Beer. <laughs> We're getting off track. Same word. Anyways, so what Laura's saying is she thinks it's tears rather than tears. Mm. Sorry. Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Well, people would have think <laughs> I was confused for a while, man. Really? Yes. Now, has Nintendo confirmed that it is no. tears? No. That's well, just... the, both of the words are spelled the same. Okay. But this is all the information that we've got. Interesting. Yeah. So nobody has confirmed it. It was just like random people on Twitter being like, it is tears and then crying. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's just different people's interpretation of the word. Mm. But my interpretation is that it's like rips in time. Yeah. Mm. And because it's like it's... the music going backwards, all of the imagery to do with time, the powers that his new Sheikah arm have that allow him to go back in time. And maybe that's why there were no islands in the sky in Breath of the Wild, but then the ones in the trailer look so ancient. Yes, because they're from A time free. jump. Yeah. Longer here, mm. time jump. So it's all wibbly wobbly timey wimey. I basically. think so. So there are theories about the Master Sword being the main quest line. Yeah, that would make a lot game. of sense. Yeah, having to reforge the Master Sword mm -hmm. in order to take down Ganondorf. Yeah. Because if I was Ganondorf, one of the first things I would do, look, we've failed to take Link down, we've failed to take Zelda down so many times. Yeah. Now. Let's just take down their weapon, yeah. and then we've got a better chance. He's thinking, he's That's using his so brain for true. once. Yeah. Well, they obviously fix it to some extent because the sword in the logo has a new blade. Mm. Or is that just Sheikah magic? 
Yeah, well, it's and not it's fully restored, like, is it's it? It's going to be like a magic sword now, you know? It's like a band uses aid. Link's essence ooh, or his, ooh. like, magic arm to, like, really? like a lightsaber. Yeah, let's get some of Link's essence. The master lightsaber. <laughs> Forget master swords. Swords are so last year. It's we all want... about lightsabers now. Yeah, duh. Oh We're living in the future. The future is now. <laughs> Thanks to science. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much everything that we've learned about the trailers so far. Yeah, interesting. All of my theories. All of our theories. Yeah, All well, your theories too. The theories. Yeah, I, I did a lot of research. Okay. I'll link my articles below if you guys want to see. Absolutely, a bit more reading below. Some light reading. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Follow it up, bit of follow-up information. Mm. And while you're down there, you can subscribe ah, and like the video. Hit those like and subscribe yeah. buttons. <laughs> Again, we're going to be doing a lot of Zelda content because mm -hmm. it's just in the forefront of our minds and we love The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, man. So having said that, I might go play some Breath of the Wild right now to get myself hyped <laughs> yeah, you for should. this game. And if you think that we missed anything that you noticed in the trailers, then Definitely. comment below. Definitely drop them in the comments. Give us your theories. Give them to us. <laughs> Much love, my friend. See you Bye. on the next one. Bye.